So rugby, in my opinion, is the most difficult sport to code and create sports code windows for because there is so much going on within the game. So you've got the breakdown, you've got lineouts, you've got scrums, you've got all the different ways you can commit penalties, you've got all the different ways you can commit turnovers. So there's just so much information that you could possibly capture. And just trying to figure out what information to capture and how to do it is something that's like really difficult. So I've had my go at it. This is my rugby code window. I've tried to make it as small and as efficient as possible. So I'm going to show you what the um, end result looks like in terms of the timeline and an output window. But this is the entire code window. This is the bottom of it. And the basically how it works, and I'll code five minutes of this game just to show you, is that all these buttons up here on both sides essentially are triggers that execute a bunch of scripts down here. And a bunch of label information will appear and disappear based upon those triggers. So I'm going to go code. We've got the Chiefs and the Crusaders here. So we're going to go kickoff, Chiefs ball, their 22, restart reception, tackle. We're going to commit that as a ruck, so gain line, negative gain line, now kick. So this is our first trigger. So we click kick. And we've got some label information down below here. So that was a punt. It was in our own 22 in the eyes of the team that's kicking it with color code, um, you know, kind of to trigger in your mind who possibly um, we're talking about in terms of territory. So own 22. And then the result, you've got retrieved, lost, penalty for, penalty against, and touch, which is the one that we're going to select. And then I'm going to basically tab out of the rest of my instances. And we've got a bunch of now rows on our timeline. We've got Chiefs kick with that information now in the um, in the instance. Uh, Crusaders defense, Chiefs 22 in terms of the location, and then Chiefs restart reception. Now here's a line out. So what are we going to code for a line out? So we're going to click line out for the Crusaders. We're going to click in the field, middle of the field. Where in the field is it for this line out? So this is just in terms of general territory. This is basically attributing now direction to where the line out is. So midfield, that was in the middle. We won the line out, so one. And now below here, we've got an off screen instance for Crusaders line out attack. So now this is gonna label what sort of attack that we are committing. However, there is a forward pass in there. So we're just gonna click insert map just to get rid of this. We're going to click turnover, and again, we've got some more triggers. So is it a knock-on, forward pass, mall inset pass, breakdown turnover? Um, is it a tackle turnover? It's a forward pass, and it occurred in the midfield. So now that information, we've got a turnover instance, and we've got the location of that turnover as well as the type of turnover it is. So let's go forward more. So we've got a scrum. Chiefs scrum. I'm going to click scrum, middle of the field. It's at midfield, so I'm going to attribute location to the scrum. I'm going to um, escape out of that because it's a reset. Scrum. Middle of the field. Midfield. It's one. And again, you can now attribute an attack to the scrum. I'm not going to do that just because I don't know what attack they're doing. That's more for like if it's your team, what sort of map are you running? What sort of strike are you running? If you've got a back strike, that's where you'd put that information. We're going to put positive gain line, positive gain line, positive gain line, positive gain line, positive gain line. I'm not bothering coding the individuals right now. That's something I'll probably do like afterwards. And now we've got a turnover. So turnover, intercept pass. It occurred in the opposition 40 meter zone. Now the Crusaders have got the ball. Positive gain line. I'll code till the end of this play. I want to go line break. Chiefs 22. And he knocked the ball on. So I'm going to go turnover knock on, opposition 22, and then end the instances. So that's how you would code the game. So what does that look like after a whole game has been coded? Well, 
I've got an example. It will look like this. So this actually took me only about an hour to code. And when you think about how long a rugby game it takes, it maybe takes two hours. You could essentially code this game live and have all this information after the game. So you've got your attack and defense, so your positions, your territory, Crusaders 22, midfield, Chiefs 22, all your home team events, so line out, line out attack, scrum, scrum attack, counter attack, restart reception, kick, turnover, penalty points, and try. And then same all of that information for the opposition. Then we look in the matrix, you've got a whole bunch of label information. You've got the event just to tagged into the um, position rows. You've got field location for all the different events like penalties, scrums, lineouts, turnovers, um, gain line, the types of kicks, the kick result, line break, line out outcome, line out result, line out throw, all the different types of penalties, different types of points, scrum outcomes, scrum results, different types of turnovers broken down. And again, all of this could be coded live or within an hour or you know coded and you could finish it by the time the team comes back into the changing room. So that's a lot of information. And then here's the output window. I'm going to click Execute. So I'm basically going to go down the middle first. We've got just some quick stats. Time of position, time spent in your 22. Kick to ruck ratio. So for example, for the Crusaders here, we've got one kick to every 2.8 rucks. Turnovers, penalties, line breaks, gain line percentage. And everything here's got film, so I can click these uh, 11 turnovers here, and I'll get the clips for those 11 turnovers. I can click the points up here, I can get all 24 of the Crusaders points. Then I've got quick watch, so these aren't really stats, but these are things that coaches might want to watch like immediately. So all of your exits, all 5 meter set pieces, box kicks, so you can see like how good your escorts are, or how good you are under the high ball, or how good you are at catching the high ball, all your tries, and then all your counter attack clips. So then these again, these aren't really stats. These are just basically, oh, I want to watch all our exits. Let me click that on see our exits. Oh, I want to watch all our tries. Like I want to watch all of the opposition five meter set pieces to see how we defended those. That's kind of, you know, what those are for. Below that, we've got a turnover breakdown. I'm using the new sports code charts to break it down. So we've got knock-ons, passing, so four passes and interception, contact, so like tackles, mauls, breakdown sort of stuff, and then set piece. Same for the other side. Again, all of this has video, so I can click all of this and get all our passing turnovers. And click this and get all the opposition set piece turnovers. Then on the left and right, we've got a breakdown of the set pieces. So line out map watch. Again, this isn't for stats. This is basically exclusively just to watch video. So you can be like, oh, I want to watch all of our exits from line outs. I can do that. I want to watch all the opposition drives off line outs. I can click that and just get that immediately. Um, we've got a, again, chart here from Sports Code for our one loss for both sides. Um, throw direction, so front, middle, back for both sides. Again, everything's got video. And then again, we've got the same with the scrum. So I want to watch all our scrum exits. I want to watch all the opposition scrum exits and then the scrum result. One loss and then just one on the other side. So that's my code and output window. Um, it's basically got all that detail. You can code it really quickly. You've got this great output window, you can watch all the clips as well as get some um, stats as well. If you want to purchase this rugby code and output window, there's a link in the description below. They'll take you to the website. If you have any questions about this, just email me through the um, email in the description box below as well. And I'd love to chat to you. Thank you very much and appreciate you watching.